<laughs> it takes a village. Okay. 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 So complicated with high loading. Jenny and John Atagians seeking clarity two going in ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Smoking. Okay, there's our first stage boost, nice and straight. And second stage lift. All right, let's keep an eye on that. Let's keep an eye on their uh, booster wherever it's coming down. Second stage is on its way, a little, uh, a little twirling in the smoke here. We're going to keep an eye on that for a moment or two. Over thruster with a low EM going in five, four, three, two, one. At E5, representing Tripoli Central California. At E5 is armed, and we're going to give it a full 10 count going in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There it goes. I got it. This is it complicated? We're going to make a lot of noise before we launch this. Radio beacons on both sections. Sustainer has Kate, Blue Raven, and Easy Motor. Uh, Booster has two Blue Ravens and a Featherweight GPS and another Easy Motor. So we're characterizing motors here too. So Ken Overton is his project C32S on the away away cell. Out there, White Rocket. Going to arm. Pad G3 and make a lot of noise. This is a oh, heads up flight, folks. Heads up flight. Pad G3 going in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There's Launch. The smoke. Okay, heads up on the range. 1,500 feet. 3,000 feet. All right, Four we did get the sustainer, the steady sustainer oh. has left, and uh, same thing, heads up on the range, heads up on the flight line, all the rockets. Let's watch for breezes, make sure nothing comes this way. Heads up on the range, heads up on the flight line. Here comes shots from Middleton, Connecticut. It's got a rocket called Cool or Really Cool. It's going to fly on a... Sam Hamilton 07300, and uh, I missed the note before, it's my 60th birthday today, so no fireworks for birthday. This is the O-Motor, Richard Comshot on pad E2, going in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, heads up 
dog. Up a little bit. It's kind yeah, of a yeah, puny yeah. rocket right for an 03400. <laughs> yeah. Dude, thank you. Four, three, two, one. How are you feeling right now? Nervous, but hopeful. Not much I can do at this point. It's going to fly. <laughs> from back to Victorville, California, has a rocket called the View from Halfway Up. It's on a Cizzeroni O3400. Stratalogger on board with RRC2 Featherweight GPS. We're going to launch pad E4. We're armed to have a clear range and a clear sky. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, look at your vent on that one. What's the descent rate on the featherweight? Oh, we don't have okay. okay, we did. We saw an event, but we don't know how it's coming. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, straight. Count the ejection charges. B4. It's from Davis, California. It's flying a rocket called Foregone Conclusion. It's going to fly on a K700. We're armed on pad B4. I don't have any continuity on B4. I do have continuity on B3, so we might as well try that. We're going on Bernard Ormsby's rocket, count your leads, going in five, four, three, two, one. Pretty good. Pretty milky. Did it rash up? Yeah. Not, Not as bad as I thought. thought. Rail buttons melty. Yep. Sick. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> Three, 
three, two, one. Looks like it's separated right after a liftoff. We have a shootout. Julian, rocket name Red Ember, 54 millimeter motor and diameter. Weighing 70 inches, weight 11 pounds, find an M1378. All right, Julian, on an E2 in five, four, three, two, one. Uh, rocket information here, name, thin red line, orange diameter, 84 inches in length, weight, 51 pounds, it looks like it's labeled as, um, impulse, impulse, 26 uh, kilonewtons, all right, EX manufacturer, size O, all right, E7 in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's way out there, but be careful those people. Inch diameter, eight and a half feet length, 14 pounds. And 3300R, all right, on D1 in five, four, three, two, one. Diameter 6 inches, length 99.5 inches, weight 55 and a half pounds, Aerotech N3300, red line. Alright Eric, on D3 in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.
They've been waiting patiently. We have clear skies and continuity. And we are launching C3. We're going in five, four, three, two, one, launch. Kevin Turner has got an Aerotech L1520. It's a blue Fender motor, so a really cool motor. Uh, he's got a 16-inch pretty shoot in there, a couple quantum featherweight trackers. Uh, so on pad B3, we're launching Kevin's rocket, Ruby. And we're launching Ruby into the clear, crystal clear sky. We're going in five, four, three, two, one, launch. Seventy-five pounds, and it is white. This is a research Metalox ninety-eight millimeter, ninety-two hundred newton second motor. Yep, go ahead. Shoot an attention shooting air, a Raven three, a Raven four, and so all of you who are thirsty, this rocket contains five gallons of delicious frothy beer. So, pad D1 on the right side of the range is a white rocket. That's Patrick's keg. Doing business as Suds Missile. We got continuity, and we have a clear sky, and we're launching a keg into that sky. Five, four, three, two, one, launch. in the sustainer. He's got Kate and Easy Mega in sustainer. Uh, if all goes as planned, he's looking for 230,000 feet on this one. So good luck to you, Steve. We are at, at the one o'clock position from the center of the range. Pad G2, we got continuity, we have a clear sky. Good luck to you, Steve. We're going to 230,000 feet in five, four, three, two, one, launch. was spectacular and perfect. At this point, we're hoping for an event. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, oh. We had an anomaly up there on the second stage. Uh, Looking for a an event. Four, three, two, one, launch. That was really cool as it goes up into the sky there. That was an L class liquid motor. And there's our event, and it looks good or it grows.
All right, Thomas Busca, I'm sorry, Thomas Busca, pad E1. Uh, he's got a 2.08 inch diameter, 60 inch tall rocket weighing 8.8 .8 pounds. It is black and white in color. This is uh, expected to go Mach 4. It's car carbon fiber casing on a commercial off the shelf load. So we'll see how we do, Thomas. Ready to go? All right, y'all. Like um, this is my rocket. It's called Black Stallion, which is abbreviated as BS, which is also short for Bomb Squad or Bullshit, all of which can apply here. Um, the tilde R here is that, um, <coughs> apologies. Um, for Balls 32, uh, there was a group of about six people that came together and did something called the M3 Challenge, which they were basically launching min diameter and sub min diameter M1378 rockets as high as possible. I was like, I want to do something funny um, and like a little bit just odd. Um, so I decided to do one of the first M1378 SU PVs, so carbon over wrap pressure vessels. And what that basically means is that instead of the normal aluminum case, uh, this is all carbon fiber case. Um, so we reduced the sort of total like wet mass of the rocket from about 11 pounds, 12 pounds, which is what most of the competitors in that competition are running. Uh, this is about 8.8 .8 pounds. So we're dropping about two pounds on the rocket, um, you know, getting it really, really spicy in terms of weight um, while still maintaining a good amount of structural margins. Uh, the carbon fiber case, it's a five ply case. The first is fiberglass for like my copium brain is thermal insulation. The let rest is carbon fiber. Um, so it's four layers of carbon fiber. The like hoop stress of active safety should be like three or so. Um, then the ends are potted, so it's like injected epoxy that fills the ends here that um, just like a thin annulus here that holds it in. Same on the nozzle side. Uh, the nozzle side, if it's not packed with dirt, um, is the Loki nozzle uh, plus an aluminum expansion cone. Um, just get a little bit of more optimization there. Um, and then the nose cone, it's seven plies of solar uh, deposits fiberglass. So that's about 0.095 inches thick. Um, in here, the avionics bay, which isn't even done yet. Uh, running a Blue Raven and a, feather <laughs> and a Featherweight GPS. Um, this rocket, the simulations, um, all disagree with each other. They say somewhere between 60 and 90,000 feet, which if it somehow hits 60,000 feet, better yet 90,000 feet, <laughs> on a like sub nine pound rocket, that would be pretty insane. The nice thing is you don't um, and then the speed is about Mach 5, so, you know, we're preparing a little bit here, um, but it's uh, simulating to somewhere between Mach 4.8 and Open Rocket, 5.2 and Rossero, um, and somewhere in there and a couple other sim softwares. So it should rip. Um, warning, you're probably going to find out what happens to this rocket in the next like 30 seconds. This is either a massive bomb. This could like fireball like crazy. It could burn through. It could just pop closures immediately. You have no idea what's going to happen. It could shred at max Q. It could shred at like min Q. <laughs> it could shred just like one second off the pad. The it, it, yeah. It's just going to shred stationary? Yeah. I believe it. It's going to shred when I drop it in a second here. Um, <laughs> it's going to shred when I forget the nose cone again. Um, you know, no idea what's going to happen. But it's set up. We're going to set up at 2,000 feet. Send it, an rip it. We'll never let you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not an optimist. Um, but yeah, have fun. Tomorrow and morning? Tomorrow morning, 9 1 a.m. Dude, there's a lot of promised 9 1 a.m. flights tomorrow. It's, it's going to be a very busy way. It's going to be like 9 20. Yeah. Um, mine, mine was 9 1 today. I flew to 3 p.m. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, All right, well. Yeah, should have fun. Um, nice look. Either way, it's a cool experiment, and we'll have fun. Got confirmation, he's ready to go. Pad E1, we are going, Thomas, in five, four, three, two, one, launch. That's, pix that's pixie dust. Heads up on the range. It's a four inch diameter to a 29 millimeter, 99 inch tall rocket, weighing 51.36 pounds. It is gray and red in color. They're putting this up on a CTI in, as in Nancy, 5800. This has four easy minis, three tele GPS, uh, RF beacon, two onboard cameras, and an easy timer. So Bryce Chan, Chan I'm sorry, Chanis, you ready to go? Roger that. We are sending it off pad E2. This is a heads up flight. Heads up flight off E2. Here we go. Good luck to you, Bryce, Bryce, and Brian. We're doing the boosted dart in five, four, three, two, one, launch.
Yeah, we from Mulvane, Kansas. Got a Magnum GT. It's a fiberglass Magnum, five and a half inches in diameter, 103 inches tall, black and pink in color. Flying it on the Gary Dickinson, Mad River Blue. In is in Nancy, 3200. It's got two Cert 3 XLs in there, or it's got a Cert 3 XL in there. 36 inch stroke, telemetry, easy mini, tele GPS. All the bells and whistles, they're ready to go. They've been looking at me, giving me the stink eye. Yeah. All right, here we go. We are launching Gary Dickinson on N3200, Mike and Amy, pad E7 in five, four, three, two, one. Gary Dickinson, Mike and Amy, pad E7 in five, four, three, two, one, launch. What's up guys? Keep an eye on that motor casing as it comes in. Should be downrange. We'll just keep an eye on that. And it's tumbling on down. Oops, 72 inch main. Telemega and an Easy Mini. So on A4, we got a clear sky, we got continuity, we have five minutes to launch, and we're going in five, four, three, two, one, launch. All right, that was cool. That thing is going. Okay, so we are on pad D4. Gabe's ready to go. Got a clear sky, We've got a clear range. And we are launching an M1491. Fred Azinger, good luck in five, four, three, two, one, launch. White and black in color. Yeah, first stage is going up on an Aerotech M as in Mary, 1850, staging to a CTI L265 long burn motor. Uh, he's got a couple of rotating shoots in here, it looks like. Uh, he's got a Telemega, RC3, he's got a GoPro, Telemini, RC3, and an egg timer. And he's expecting 34,000 feet. Uh, we're going to call this a heads-up flight. It is out there a ways, but we'll keep our eyes on this one. Everyone keep your eyes on this rocket as it goes up. Joshua Sickles, pad E4. We're going to stage an M to an L in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, launch. See it arcing over up there. Hopefully, we're just seeing a vent of some sort. He's uh, got a 72 inch shoot in the booster, 48 inch shoot in the sustainer. He's got perfect flight, easy mini, telemega GPS, Blue Raven, feather, Featherweight GPS, and also a Jolly Logic. Uh, the Sims are saying 80,000 feet on this one. So pad E2, got Ron Rickwald going from an N to an M. And we are going to pad E2. Got clear skies, got a clear range. And we are launching you in five, four, three, two, one, launch. Uh, soft smoke, there we go. Okay, that one lit way over there. We're gonna have some, we're gonna have some questions.
3.4 pounds. This is an EX M as in Mary 1524. This is a sugar motor. So on pad B2, we got a sugar motor in the M impulse range. And he's got a 60 inch shoot in there, a quark, and a quasar. So pad B B2, Ken, good luck to you. We got continuity. We got a clear sky, we got a clear range. Let's launch your sugar motor in five, four, three, two, one. Launch. There you go. That was a pretty impressive uh, M motor right there. Nice job on the on the M motor, Ken. Let's keep eye out there and see if we can see an event. Two, one, one launch. Away pad, one o'clock position. We're going in five, four, three, two, one, launch. That didn't work. Is everyone okay down there? He's flying on an Aerotech M as in Mary, 1340. Oh, that's the three grain 98. This is a 10, uh, 10 foot shoot in there, uh, 8 foot shoot, and a 54 inch shoot. And you've got a Telemega and an Easy Mini. Dude, that guy's scooting across the desert. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We've got tracking, he's got all the tools, he's ready to go. And we are on pad C1, and we are going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Launch. That's a nice boost on the M1340. There's an arc over there. Now, when my rockets did that, I It looked like a there we go. Up separation. There's our girl. All right. Nice job. Four, three, two, one, launch. She was awesome, and we're going to do something for her in her memory. Uh, so he's going to do a P-10,000 staging to an N as a Nancy 4,000. We're expecting 150,000 feet on the tribute flight to Gloria. We are on pad G-1. We have a clear sky. We have a clear range. We're launching just Gloria. So tribute to Gloria Robinson in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, launch. Out of the tower, we've got continuity to clear sky, and we are launching an experimental M1900. And we're going in five, four, three, two, one, launch. 
it goes. California. He's got a 54 millimeter rocket, black in color, three feet tall, four and a half pounds. Flying this on a research K450. This is a full K motor. It's got a uh, 12 inch strobe main coming out of it. Uh, says Apogee. Uh, Strata logger, uh, radio frequency beacon in there. This is a single use research motor using Fat Boy propellant. So on pad A3, we have clear skies, got continuity, and we're launching K450 research motor in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, launch. Fifty-four millimeter rocket, ninety inches tall, fourteen point four six pounds. It is red and black in color. This is staging from an Aerotech L ten ninety to an Aerotech K two seventy. It's got a couple of thirty-six inch streamers in here, an Altus Metrum, and uh, looks like I got some Telemegas in there also. Uh, tracking will be by Altus Metrum. Uh, so good luck to you, Ross. We are on pad D two. We got continuity, we got a clear sky, and we have a two stage rocket going from an L to a K on pad D2. Ross, good luck to you. We are launching you in five, four, three, two, one, launch. There it goes. A little squiggly from the jump, but then it's the flaming turd. Five inches in diameter, 36 inches tall, five and a half pounds. It is white, blue, and brown. Flying this on an Aerotech J425. Got a 50-inch chute in there, no electronics. This is a level two certification flight. So Dave Rose, let me see you wave your hand. Oh yeah, there you go. I made you get up out of your chair and everything. All right, Dave Rose is watching. Good luck to you, Anders, on pad B1. We have a clear range and a clear sky, and we're launching you in five, four, three, two, one, launch. Yeah, that's, that's a bad start. Flying the Wildman Motor Eater. It's a four inch diameter, 73 and a half inch tall rocket weighing 970 grams. It is blue and yellow in color, and he's flying on an Aerotech L1420. So on pad B2, that rocket out there is going on a L1420. It's got a 72-inch top flight chute in there, 18-inch drogue, featherweight GPS, and a Blue Raven. I am showing good continuity on there. I'm showing a clear sky, and this car is going behind the other pads, so we've got a clear range. And we are launching... The Wild Man Motor Eater in five, four, three, two, 
one, launch. Look to Russell on the M1378 that we're launching in five, four, three, two, one, launch. We have continuity, we have a clear sky. We're launching the hitchhiker in five, four, three, two, one, launch. <laughs> 